Faraday future is literally like a cat. It, it, it may just have nine lives and it, they are now on their third one. Yes. Uh, a company that I thought would be bankrupt by now. Uh, but I still stand by my prediction that FF 91 is never going to see the light of day. Um, they now have a new life, believe it or not. Yes. This is the third time we're going in this cycle of, are they dead yet? Are they, oh my God, they're alive, right? It is a Christmas miracle is what it is, uh, I think. And I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. And of course, if this is your first time here, welcome. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there. It's free. It's in red. So you can't miss that. All right, let's talk about Faraday Future. I'm going to spare you the whole history of them coming out at CES 2017 and being all, you know, Tesla killer and all that stuff. You know, twice they almost died. Last time this company, um, Evergrande Group, um, actually saved their butts and invested $2 million. Um, they committed to that in pieces. Um, they invested, I think, $700 million right away. And, uh, you know, the, the Faraday Future burned through it within, like, few months. Now, granted, they now have a factory that's operational. They got a bunch of prototypes going on and, and they're much closer to releasing it. Um, but there were some setbacks, I think, really, as they were celebrating, like having an employee party, they, the, the prototype caught on fire. Um, and I don't think we even know what happened there, but, you know, there are definitely setbacks. Um, but at some point, you know, once they just ran out of money, they went back to, you know, to, to, to the, to uh, uh, Evergrande group and say, Hey, we need more money. And Evergrande group was like, wait, already? We, you know, you guys needed to get this car in production. So no. And now I got to tell you, the reason I think this company is going to fail is because their CEO who's literally blacklisted in China already for all of his debts and, and all the broken promises that he did there. Um, and he's also been kind of, I think the, the, the worst part of this company um and now at some point Evergrande group said okay we might give you a little bit more money but we you you know you got to distance yourself as a ceo now he has done that it looks like but they um they basically decided no we're not putting any more money in uh we're gonna hold your assets um, uh, for ourselves and therefore, you know, Faraday future weren't able to get more investors they were kind of being basically uh um uh, you know, left out, you know, to dry out and, and they lost a bunch of employees out of thousand employees they had, they lost 750. They lost most of the executives, most of the founders, if not all the founders. Um, and, and, uh, they, they, now they went to court in China back and forth and, and tried to, uh, again, sue Evergreen, uh, Evergrande group. Um, and I really didn't think much was going to come out of it, but they did come out of it with an agreement with the Evergrande group. Uh, let me tell you what it is. And let me tell you why I think these guys are even like considering investing in this company. Uh, before that, of course, I want to remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by X rack. Um, this is basically, uh, the roof rack for your vehicle hitch. Um, solution for cars like Model X that can have car cargo uh, products on the top and some owners just prefer not to have anything on the uh, roof of their cars. This is a great hitch solution. There's a discount code in the description of this video that will also get free shipping for you guys as well. Um, so check it out at xrec.us. All right, so Evergrande Group, um, there have been rumors because I didn't even understand why I invested $2 billion in this company that's just been run so carelessly by this guy that nobody wants to do business with. For the rumor, the rumor has it that, you know, uh, um, there are a couple of them. One is that they basically wanted to get into the company that has good IP um, and basically run it to the ground where it was kind of nose diving to anyway. And basically that way they would get to keep the IP. Um, you know, obviously everything's tied, tied to a Chinese uh, uh, operated uh, ventures like this one. And, and therefore there will be more IP in China for their industry to grow. Not a bad plan, by the way, I got to tell you, I got to give it to them. Uh, the other uh, rumor that I've heard is that, you know, China, uh, the, the Evergrande Group is really, uh, they're, they're real estate investors. And I think part of the bigger, much bigger investment deal that they were going to have is that they have to invest into an electric car uh, startup in the United States. And I think out of like a humongous uh, a deal that were going in, that this $2 billion wasn't really that big of a deal for them. So they just kind of got these guys going, um, invested in Faraday Future, so they could get a bigger deal that they were going to make a lot of profit on. Both make sense. I don't know which one is true, if, if either, but at least that way we can make some sense 
uh, of that. Now, let's talk about the agreement. They somehow, again, I do not understand, unless one of those is really the agenda, um, and really the latter one, I would now at this point would believe, um, they um, they decided that they're going to restructure the two million, two billion, 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 billion dollar investment um, and give them a bridge loan um, to kind of continue going. And also they are all back their stake from 45% to I think 32%, which again, I don't really understand. If anything, they should have grabbed the bigger, if not even controlling package. So this is not really making that much sense to, uh, to me. Uh, again, I don't know if also their CEO is gonna be kind of pushed even further back because I think that's the only way they have any chance. This guy's been a complete disaster for them. Um, but the reason I still predict that this is going to be a lost cause um, is because you know, they've lost too much talent at this point. Uh, I mean, they've lost the first and the second and now third wave of their employees. Uh, they've all already got new jobs because this is a, you know, expanding industry. Everyone's kind of even fighting uh, for talent. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, who and who will really want to work for them at this point, right? It's been a mess. Um, they're up and down, up and down. There's so many other companies, pretty much all automakers right now, including startups, are looking for talent of any kind. To, to get their electric car uh, programs going, why would anybody go and work for them? And you know, if you don't have talent, you might have money now, but if you have that don't have talent, you will have to hire second class talent. And I just don't see this happening. I think this deal is still gonna crash and burn regardless of how much money they're putting out there. This car now has a technology that might be a little bit outdated with a $140,000 price tag. I think this is more gonna be, a, if, if they ever you know produce and sell them, it's going to be more of like a collector collector items. Some people will be like, well, I also have Faraday Future because I don't care if it's a whatever I have to spend on it. But as far as this company actually going further and actually having a FF91 as the the car for the masses or even rich masses, I, 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 you know, listen, I'd love to be proven wrong, right? Because I'm rooting for all of the electric car makers and all of our electric car models, except for BMW i3, of course. Uh, but I, unfortunately, I don't see how this is going to work out. I will keep you updated, but hey, these guys, third time they're coming back. <laughs> Who knows? They they might they might pull something off that that nobody really thought was possible, which this would be one of them, right? All right, guys. Also want to, by the way, give out a quick shout out to one of my new Patreons, Michael Benson. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community, for supporting myself, the independent full-time YouTuber. Of course, you get perks just like everybody else in my community and biggest one of them all, of course, is that you get to watch me live. You get to hear all of this news right away as I'm speaking, as you do right now. Um, if you guys want to uh, support me and join my Patreon community, you can easily do so at patreon.com slash e for electric. Gee, forgot my own company's name. Uh, but, um, you know, thank you for supporting me. Uh, and again, it's, uh, the, the link is in the description of this video. Um, other than that, let me know what you think about this whole Faraday future thing. It's definitely, you know, entertaining. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.